Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another set review here on Meta Bros. I'm Moldy Potion. This is my bro, Metacrax. Welcome back to this is the only set review I care about. <laughs> All the others are just a waste of time to <laughs> instill fear within the lightning players oh, who know that MetaZoo is really just lightning. For so, now. I For know, now. I know mm -hmm. it's going to crumble it everything. Is. I'm making a joke. I'm being hyperbolic. Obviously, <laughs> I need to see the whole set because I need to see how you're all going to kill me. Because apparently, according to my bro here, there's a lot of lightning hate. There are set. some answers in yeah. this set for sure. But for right now, we get to see the extras that they've given us to make lightning a little to all more powerful. Hopefully, it will still stay at the top. There are some goodies. Top. Yeah, there are some goodies in here. Let's... Or at least be a better fight for the top, but still remain a real contender because I love lightning more than I love... Well, most things in life. You've been making that abundantly clear lately. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, after a couple months of losing again, I came back to Lightning and I started to balance out the games. Right. And like I said, right. you just beat me. It doesn't matter because I feel like, all right, I, I see what happened there. Uh -huh. It's not yeah. a mystery. Yeah. It's not like I'm like, oh, what do I do next? Do I need to change my sideboard or revise this whole thing? Add cards, take away. No, right. it's just, okay. My cats didn't do the work this time, but they will maybe next time if it comes out in the right order. Right. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the show, hit that subscribe button, and you can also check out Caster Society here on YouTube. Link in the description below, where I know you guys haven't been seeing our videos, but we've still been making them, mm -hmm. and they said they're going to get back to posting them, <laughs> yeah. and you're probably going to hear about Long Beach when they do. They fell behind, they were at tournaments, they were trying to do their own spoiler content, and I know the guys that they have on the crew are just busy, but there are more videos coming. So many. So, so many. We're, many. we're gonna try to get it to dump just like in one big drop. You'll so have that like then thirty we can videos. Be on time for seance because these cards are totally well, gonna change yeah. everything. We're on time. They're just a little behind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But with all that said, let's get in to the lightning set review. And shout out to our patrons. We love you. Of course, Thank we you for love all your you. Support. Yes. Yes. If you'd like to be a patron, you can go to patreoncom backslash metabros or forward slash or just a slash. Okay. Type in metabros. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Uh, again, the cards are a little muddy, a little cloudy. Sorry, we did our best to color correct and sharpen them for you, but uh, we wanted to do look at the set as soon as possible. So Heck whatever yeah. scans they have, we will take. And the first one is a potion ectoplasmic sludge. I love this thing. Zero cost potion, as they all are. This one is five per spellbook as well? Three per spellbook. Very blurry. All right, three per spellbook. There we go. We'll zoom in. That does look like the high C cooler again. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ectoplasm cooler. Yeah, definitely. Target beastie you control with an aura cost of three or less is automatically inflicted with paralyze. When paralyze is removed, that beastie loses all traits and gains spirit until it leaves the arena. That's I amazing. Love it, man. I love it, man. It's like, you know, a little give for a little take. You, you, you got to paralyze your own beastie, but then it's going to lose traits, which also sucks, but it's going to gain spirit, which is like one of the most protective traits in the game. Immediately, I think a ding bell, you know, if you have a ding bell that's like has the three counters on it, that's a pretty awesome beastie. You could bring that out pretty early and then ectoplasmic sludge and have a little spirit beastie that every time he attacks, he makes three more tokens. I can just see this being really, really, really handy. And it doesn't limit you to a lightning beastie. So anything with three or less aura cost, you could potentially give spirit to. Yeah, I like Pretty this awesome. a lot, especially because yeah. it's a potion that can go in any spell book, so any beastie can benefit, not mm -hmm. just lightning. In fact, for me, I don't play Ding Bell if it's not at least four. That's yeah. like actually my cutoff. I don't do three three Ding Bell for right. some reason. It's just not my thing. Um, and I really don't play Ding Bell much at all anymore. I had him in my side deck one as like an mm -hmm. ending surprise. Yeah. But uh, for now, I think that this is going to benefit more aura types than just lightning in, in, yeah. in more ways um just being able to give any beastie spirit especially when they just come out and they're probably fatigued anyway so right. you're probably gonna have to wait a turn to use them and if you've done that math and they're going to be in the arena and come back to you well, why not throw the ectoplasm plasmic sludge onto yeah. them yeah. and give them that spirit trait it would be really good on thunderbird too you know like bring out thunderbird score a little damage and then hit him with this and thunderbird will doesn't have first strike you know i wouldn't really want to you can't hit quets because he costs four but even so i wouldn't want to hit a beastie that has something as valuable as first strike with the ectoplasmic plasmic sludge but thunderbird i don't care if he loses flying just give him spirit so he can stay alive and then i can keep using that attack effect now the spirit does not come in until the end so they have to survive yeah. until that point yeah. through paralyzation you got to be able to keep them safe for a turn but it's still cool yeah i can see this being played in a bunch of different ways spirit sludge turbocharged and ready to shake things up <laughs> next card oh that's going backwards that's our ectoplasm slimer 
Look at this art. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, this one's crazy. Radical art. <laughs> That's so cool. That is. That is just awesome. Oh my goodness. This says it's a spell, static attraction, two per spellbook, contraction cost two lightning. Until the end of this turn, for each basic lightning storm terra page or lightning aura page, you contract. Spirit beasties cost two less spirit to contract to a minimum of one. Spirit pages, spirit not just beasties. Pages. Yeah. Two less to contract to a minimum of one. This effect does not stack okay so a little multi-aura lightning spirit action happening here yeah this is going to be one of those spells that like somebody who really knows what they're doing busts out at a tournament and everybody just goes like dude <sighs> what did they just do because in this like i know in this set there's a spirit wipe for instance that costs six spirit aura it's an amazing wipe um and you know with something like dropping a lightning Terra page, if you drop two of them at once and then you dropped a uh, lightning aura page, you could contract it for one aura and be able to wipe the board. There's going to be some plays with this spell that are just like, whoa, how did he pull that off? You know, yeah, I get, mean, get walking Sam out, like drop a drop a lightning Terra page, lightning storm Terra page, and then for one prism aura, get walking Sam in the arena. I just can see this definitely giving you access to some really clutch spirit cards. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'm already playing one. Uh, nope, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> yes to what you said. Yeah. No to what I was going to say. <laughs> right on. Let's read that. We read that flavor text. Uh, some beasties are naturally drawn together due to their similarities in magic. But if that proves to be inefficient, how about some overcharged magnetism? Nice. Z -z -z. Oh, I like that. That's what they're like referencing the electric the electric spirit connection. That's spirit cool. tech. Spirit tech. All right. Another next way. page. I'm never going to be able to get it right. Uh, <laughs> Because it's left. Spell EVP, two per spell, but contraction costs one neutral, one lightning. Uh-huh. That is some funky art, too. Yeah. I like it. It looks like our poltergeist almost in the I background. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Fourth wall effect, you must say, I can hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, that's <laughs> going to be a problem for me. <laughs> to contract this page, nullify all sound-related fourth wall effects until the end of your next turn. So Jersey Devil is what I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I was actually or a bird. I was gonna say like I could not think of any relevant because they what this made made me think of is all like the classical music, electronic music, the metal music, all that stuff that's been infused in the recent sets, which they ruled was only for pseudo environments. So like at first I was looking at this card thinking it's completely useless, but I bet but I bet you're right. I bet that the Jersey, the actions of yelling and making noise and proclaiming things would probably be considered a sound related fourth wall. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's, <clears throat> I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Because like for me to go, I think you're going to play a Jersey devil next turn. So I'm going to play this. Right. No, I think you're going to play a Walmart exclusive promo Piazza bird and you're going to need to roar. So I'm going to play yeah, this. This is just so specific. Yeah. Like if they would have ruled that the hero quest sound, you know, fourth walls would have would all be or active. If this could be played at any time. Right. Therefore nullifying that effect. But right now it's like, OK, yeah, I like the art, but um, it, it might be the worst card in the set. <laughs> we're going to read the flavor text. Come on, lightning. You got to step it up here. Uh, hello, world. More like destroy world. <laughs> really? You're going to be destroying with this That's card? That's got to be a reference You guys to let us know. Yeah, it must be. All right. I love this art birds. again. The, the, the tele... Yeah. I don't even know what to I say. I think this is a tele reference bird? to the uh, birds are drones. Like... Bursty. Bourgeoisie. Bursty. Beastie Bo bird. Bourgeoisie. Yeah. I would not have read That's it how like you say that, that crazy okay. thing. <laughs> bird, the telephoto telescope bird. Eight <laughs> per spell book. Contraction costs one lightning. Life points 25. Has flying. Awesome art. Yeah, so good. Fourth wall, power, droned attack. You may only use this power if a passport is within eyesight and you have not used a power named droned attack this turn. Awaken all pages named Borgesy birds in the arena. All Borgesy birds <laughs> gain plus 25 attack damage until the end of the turn. Okay, so it's a once per turn power. You're going to need a, a passport for your fourth wall, but it's a once per turn power. You awaken all the bourgeoisie birds and they all gain 25 damage. That's cool. So you can attack with them all, save one to do this power, and send them all 
Right. With a bonus attack. All right, what's the attack? Metal Talons, base damage 10. Destroy this beastie if it is dealt more than 30 damage with this attack. If it dealt oh, that's more than 30 damage. So you, you blow up a bunch of birds for one single attack. Yeah. Yeah, lightning! Come on, lightning! Yeah. I don't know if there were like some some decent buffs, like if there was like a give all birds tribal boost for the turn, then I'd be like, yeah. But right now, yeah, I don't right know. I mean, now. the max you're going to deal with all eight. If you would attack in one round, you would deal 70 damage from the first attack. Then you'd use the power to give them all an additional bonus. So that would be uh, 35 times eight, which would be somewhere around 200, would be like about 300, 300 damage. damage. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's cool, but all eight, you have to have <laughs> right. all That's eight like to deal with you. Case How about scenario? one Chessie and one Lightning in the bottle with a few yeah. water aura or a Ketz yeah. uh, call with a Lightning uh, in a bottle? Like, yeah. there's so many. Yeah, and then they don't die. And there's I'll go gonna away. be some cool combos with this, but I'm not excited about it yet. Nope. Come on, Lightning! I need true power. I know you already gave us call, but still, <laughs> they gave more. us power. I know <laughs> artifact token. Plasm, pull two per spellbook, contraction cost, one neutral, two lightning, life points 25, has the spirit trait. Arena effect, fourth wall arena effect. Whenever a beastie token you control is destroyed, you may hysterically laugh to place a grave counter on this artifact. Power, goopify, remove all grave counters from this artifact. For each grave counter removed, place a ghost goop token 15 lp spirit lightning beastie with a 15 damage attack into the arena under your control dang that's actually pretty cool so it's okay i was gonna say how many per spell book two per spell book and whenever so that so you throw this in a ding bell deck and you'll get an extra token for every single yeah, one so of your for every ding bell you lose you'll get it back if you can use the power in time right which yeah. you should be able to. It's not like it's a self-destruct and no, it, this you is do way it on more, the turn. This is way more useful than the Dark Lightning Orb because the yeah, Dark Lightning Orb could just thinking. be destroyed. This has spirit, so this is going to hang around. And if you're I doing like it, it on your turn, you have control. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you... Well, I mean, again, actually, I don't know. I like it, but let's say you got 10 little Ding Bell tokens in the arena. Uh huh. So each time one of them dies, you get a counter on here. Right. And then you can power it and bring that back. Actually, no, I do. It's so great. you can keep going. You yeah. can keep going. You can reuse it every single turn. Yep. It's not like you have to destroy it to use it. You just got to keep it protected from spells. It's, yeah. It's That's a nice cool, bonus. man. And if you it's, put Monshock in, you know, brought her out with Crypto Nation promo, then you're getting double the tokens each time you use this. It's interesting. Yeah. I'm not going to go use it right away, but I look forward to seeing someone else who does. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out. Flavor text here says, this conjuration ignites the latent energy hidden inside raw plasma. When the molecules get energized and crackle, you can almost hear the spirits returning to the essence of life. I got to say real quick before we move on to, I really like that it's a 15 LP beastie with a 15 damage attack and it's spirit and lightning. Like, that's just a cool token. There's a lot going on there. Yeah, there could be something else to that. Yeah. With little trick. Key comboing. It'll later. hit for 35 into dark pages and water pages. You know, it'll also be weak against several it aura will. types at once. Yeah. It's a bit of a trade off. Next spell is the disbanding energy. Two per spell, but contraction cost one neutral, one lightning. Ooh, look at that. That's so dope. That's one of my favorite beasties in the set. I can't wait for us to talk about him. Wow. Look at Sam. Fourth wall, you must grab your chest and say, whoever's inside me, be gone to contract this page. All pages in the arena are returned to their owner's control. That's going to be a big deal in this set. There's a All lot of stealing. pages in the arena are returned to their owner's control. All pages, guys. Yep. That that's that's aura. That's yep. everything. You start the game from the top with everything in your hand. This in a New Year's New Beginnings is going to be the new nightmare. Well, this is really like this is for all the possession, like all the, I take control of your beastie, you know, I permanent possession. I, there's a lot of possession effects in this set that give me control of other beasties or let me exchange control. So this is like a flat no to all that. This is just like, cool. You did a bunch of cool trickery. I'm taking all my stuff back right now. Yeah. I mean, it's all, it's also an anytime game reset. Just everything gets lifted, start over one or at a time, bring everything out. No, slowly. They, they don't leave the arena. It's not like it's bouncing the arena. It's, I 
didn't understand this card. It's just returning control. Yeah, the pages aren't okay. moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was returning to my hand. Right. That's right. why I was saying it's nuts. Yeah. Never mind. Not I that get nuts. It. Yeah. It's it's going to be functional. Side deck for sure. Specifically after seance. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, flavor text here says... Some spirits love to hitch a ride on mortal shells if it is supposed, if it supports their goals outside the afterlife. When the separation occurs, it can be a little electrifying. Nice. Lily just crushing it with the art. Real quick, go to the one to the right. I have to check something. So this is going to get a grave counter from the tokens that it creates also. You know what I mean? When like, the token's destroyed, it gets yeah. the grave counter back. And you, you create can tokens that will back also out. put more grave counters on it. Anyway, I just wanted to yeah, say that no, this thing's definitely a piece to look at. Yep. If it hits the arena, I'm going to be removing it immediately. <laughs> yeah, like if to. I see it, yeah. I'm just going to go, nope, we're not going to have this get started. <laughs> Next page, we have the spell Bolt of Life. Two per spell book. Contraction cost one neutral, two lightning. Oh, that's some wacky That's art. amazing. Who did that? Chris. Nice. Awesome, Chris. Send a non-token beastie with spirit you control to the afterlife. Place a lightning beastie with an aura cost equal to or less than the beastie sent to the afterlife into the arena fatigued. Huh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't I can't think of a single combo right now that you could use this on, but I can see this having a lot of potential because it doesn't limit it just says with an aura cost equal to or less than the beastie sent to afterlife. So if you had, what's a four cost beastie with spirit? I guess, uh, you know, red ghost is a five cost. The stickini owl is a five cost. But yeah, if you basically had a four cost beastie, you can just send it to the afterlife and get a quetz back or something. Yeah, but if, um, yeah. I like it. It's Again, interesting. I'm going to need to see some uh, much better players than me use this so yeah. I can see how cool it is. Yeah. I can't think of like a deadly combo yet with this. Snap! Back to reality with you. If it said contract, I'd be like, Hornets, easy. Like, I'll just keep on recurring my Hornets, but it's not contract. It just puts it in the arena, so you're not going to get the tokens. Yeah, there's there's something happening here, but I can't quite figure it out. Mm, that's it? Okay, we got to go check out the rares. Yep. Yeah, so I would say overall, very tech cards for Lightning. Like very combo associated type of cards that aren't necessarily like win cons. They're just going to open up doors for different builds. I'm being difficult. Just be aware, guys. What else is new? It didn't excite me. <laughs> Those cards didn't excite me. I, I think know, that I think that token artifact is amazing. I think, I think it's cool. I just don't do tokens. Potential. That's just it's a personal uh, you know, yeah, but you didn't do Hornets like a few days ago, and now you do Hornets and love them. I do. I actually said to someone <laughs> that Hornets are my favorite. That's, yeah, guys, so just take everything he says with a grain of salt. Definitely. All I am is a grain of salt, guys. Um, let's see. what where, where Are there any lightning on. up here? Come I know there's now. a lightning uh, forest page. There's one. Okay. Lightning Cosmic. Beastie Alien Cisco Grove Entity. We should click on there. There we go. Contraction cost. Oh, it's a beastie alien. You can have four per spell book. Entities. Contraction cost one lightning, one cosmic. Life points 30. I love the art. Me too. It reminds me a little of uh, Gato. Just a little. Kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah. More yeah. of the robot in Chrono Trigger than Gato, though. It, isn't the robot in Chrono Trigger Gato? No, not the one My that comes on your team. Is Gato, that's Gato. That's, yeah, he's the robot you fight. If you defeat me, earned. 15 silver coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lost and you've won. Now wasn't that fun? Anyway, yeah, that is what he said. Uh, when this beastie is removed from the arena, all pages under this beastie are returned to the arena under its owner's control. Fatigued. Okay. That's another one of those resetting everything. Yeah, how do we get them under him, though? That's Upon the question. Upon contraction, you may pay one lightning to create a Cisco robot token. 40 L put... 40 oh, life point dude. lightning beastie with a 40 damage attack. Now we're talking. This is a two for one, and it's a two for one with a 40 40. That is pretty good. Retrieve the specimen is the attack base damage 30, also with the potential of, well, it will actually inflict confused. You don't flip for confused right. infliction. You only flip for when it attacks after being inflicted 
Yes. After resolving combat, if the original target of this attack has an aura cost of one or less, place that beastie under this beastie. Oh, wow. All right, okay. so you're just collecting little beasties. Yeah, you take... So Gumbaroos are just going to get... Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like this guy a lot, man. I like two for ones. Like, that's why the Hornets are so good, because they're a three for one. But this is a two for one with almost a metal man. Like, a 40 40 is a significant, that's a significant size beastie right there. Yeah, that's nice. So you're going to be paying three, and he gets a 20 bonus attack from the stars. Nice. So he's a, he, he can be up to a 30 50. Yep. And then the token he creates is a 40 40. Yep. And the confused and the stealing beasties. This is cool. Yeah, it, it absolutely is cool. I mean, imagine if you have, like, uh, what have I been facing recently? Now, green fireballs cost two. Imagine if you have a power-up Reddit Hornet, and yeah. now all of a sudden you just take the Hornet away. Yep. Because it's only one cost. Shoot, and good. really, the Confuse is wonderful, because the Confuse happens to the Beastie before any damage is dealt. Right. So then the Beastie has to roll through the Confused. To even hit back, yep. yeah. And then the effect of taking that one actually occurs after the combat is resolved so yeah. that means you get to deal it damage and definitely confuse it and then take it if it's one right flavor text here reads the vapor that exudes from the mouths of these entities consists of highly concentrated cosmic sparks be careful not to be caught in the mist oh this is the alien the robot that went yeah. under the tree and then put the vapors <laughs> up and the guy was trying not to pass out this is a crazy story yeah, yeah it's a insane story um i love it I love it. Me too. <laughs> Makes me want to go look at UFO stuff. Um, so now we're looking for oh, another lightning wait. page. That's right. Yeah. Let's get back out here. There's there's one. Nope, that's the one we were just on. And is that there's there's one right it. there. There's two more. Two. Yep. All right. This dude's. <laughs> it's great art too. He's a fatty. He's a big uh, boy. Beastie demon. Copenhagen Devil, two per spellbook, contraction cost, two forest, two lightning, life points, 100. That's a great number. Has the fear trait, has the regen trait, and the convert trait. Good traits. 25 bonus to life points if the farm Terra is in play, 20 bonus to attack if the lightning storm is in play. Upon contraction, inflict target beastie with paralyze. Nice. Shocking Maul is the attack, has two attacks. Oh, cool. Base damage 50 and paralyze. Demonic Screech is the attack, 40 damage, and inflicts Scared. You may reduce this attack's damage to zero to reactivate this beastie's fear after resolving combat. Wow, there is just so much that's good on this page. Back it up real quick. Let's just get like an overview. So he's a four drop overall. This almost reminds me of like Siege Rhino in Magic. This is like a four drop. He's going to be a little tricky to contract, but if you can get that aura locked down... It's all gravy after that. 100 LP, fear, regen, convert, lightning, terror bonus, inflict target beastie with paralyze, two different attacks, one of which paralyzes. The other one does scared or can now, trigger fear. Is like, this like a pick your attack? Yeah. So you would choose which attack you wanted to resolve that combat. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. This is really cool. I like this. I want to see more beasties like this. Yeah. Because there, because uh, there are again, they're mixing elements of forest. Like that bottom attack is a reminds me almost of Gumbaru with how you can reduce mm -hmm. the damage to zero. Yep. But then the top attack is classic lightning beastie attack, fifty damage, paralyze. It's, this is cool. It's very much a Gumbaru mechanic with the bouncing from the fear and the scared as well. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I All like right. it. Flavor text here reads: Just one look into the eyes of the Copenhagen Devil can send a shock down, all the way down, down your spine. These hulking white furred brutes are prone to sudden lunges. Nice. I know I added words. So the, like right off the bat, this is a crab killer, you know, bring them mm. out. You inflict paralyze on the crab. You can swing for 50, get another chance to inflict paralyze. Or if you just want to bounce the crab because it's power up redded, you could do the bottom attack, you know, bounce it or put fear on, it, you know, because uh, crab can be bounced by fear. Crab can't be bounced by page effects. Scared. But he can be bounced by fear and scared. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, wait. One more to the right. Wait. He can't be bounced by fear. Yeah, he can. It's a trait. But it's a page effect. No, page effect is like in the box. In the effect box. But isn't it like from the page? Like the trait? The no. page has it, the it trait. Is. It is from the page, but... The page effects are considered only the effects within the effect box. So the traits are separate from the page effects. But 
doesn't he say he can't be affected by never mind he can't be bounced by page effects which only includes the effects text box yeah yeah okay yep interesting I know, it's tricky i didn't that's know the, that that's what it is all right one Zoom more to the right Last one, Splinter Cat. We have the Beastie Cat, four per spell book. Contraction cost one forest, one lightning, life point 60. Has the fleet trait. Awesome art there. Yeah, I love that thing. That looks cool. 20 bonus to the attack if the forest hair is in play. Splinter Bash is the power. Fatigue this beastie once per turn. You may destroy a forest terra page to have this beastie's attacks inflict paralyze until the end of your turn and awaken this beastie. Oh, cool. Okay. So yeah, you get to destroy it. He pops awake with Paralyze. Thunderhead is the attack, base damage 30, fourth wall. If a failed tree is within eyesight, place this beastie into your chapter after resolving combat. That's interesting. That's like the giant salamander, if a felled tree is within eyesight. I guess that's for pseudo-environment, so now there's multiple beasties that can proc off of that I mean, pseudo-environment. Yeah, I, I think this guy's awesome. Yeah. This is uh, this is probably the coolest one I've seen so far, just because you can treat him like a direct damage spell mm -hmm. if you have the felled tree, which you obviously would if you're going to play this card. So and I think just, that might only be pseudo. I don't think you can like bring a felled tree to a tournament. Oh, um, Wood Devils is he not felled tree? No, no he's not. He's real tree. What's yeah. felled tree? Is it Fel salamander? That's salamander. Yeah. So we don't have a felled tree effect yet. I don't think so. Then I'm ignoring this card until we do. Yeah, I mean, but still, the base stats of this card are really good for a two drop. You know, having 60 LP, having fleet, 30 damage attack, potentially being able to pull, to paralyze. I do think this is pretty cool, but that felled tree would make a huge difference because being able to pick this thing up and drop it over and over, that'd be sick. Yep. Flavor text here reads, this lightning quick cat will only reveal itself during thunderstorms. It has a strange fascination with tearing into tree trunks. So you just like break the opponent's bonsai tree and then yeah. you're like, it's a felled tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the, uh, the, uh, the attack Thunderhead has an additional damage uh, or advantage against forest. Oh, for forest. Yeah. 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 So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, that is it. Huh? That is all the lightning. Okay. I'm going to say it one more time. I know it's annoying. I wanted more. I wanted more. <laughs> you just got UFO. I though. wanted unlimited lightning. Dude, UFO power. was a huge buff. They needed to I take know. a. You set know, off. I'm just being obnoxious. This is I, what we've been talking yeah. about off camera. Is that yeah. I am going to be sad when Seance really drops because I know the lightning is going to be over for a while. Am I going to stop playing it? No, but I'm just going to accept my losses and continue <laughs> grinding until lightning comes back because it will. Yeah, just like water. And I don't think it's really going to like. Kets is such a good beastie. I don't know if Kets will ever truly die, but I think that the deck is going to change now and is going to favor other aura types as well. You know, oh, like yeah. the fact that Call of the Storm is too neutral and too lightning bodes well for lightning for sets to come. Like, because you can just put stuff in and know if you hit Call, you'll be able to get it out. And I think that that in itself is is going to keep lightning alive for a while. Yeah, it is. I mean, I mean I'm being silly because this has been our conversation, our yeah. joke. And like the the Hornets thing where I was like I'm never going to play Hornets and now I just said to uh Turmeric on Discord that it, Hornets are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Um I go through these cycles, you guys know. I hate crystals, I love crystals. I hate crystal. This is just who I am. <laughs> all or nothing all the time. Yeah, I'm more moderate. I'm more like, I kind of like everything, but I could also talk shit on everything if I started. But I'm just going to believe for now that it's good. And then I try the card, and then I know. Like, once I play the card a bit, I'm like, no, this is good. Other times I play the card, I'm like, get out of here. This, <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> and with that, guys, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And if you need some more MetaZoo content, check out Caster Society here on YouTube. Link in the description below. Absolutely. Big shout out to all our patrons as well. We love you guys. If you want to support us and our content, you can go to patreon.com forward slash metabros with a Z. But that is it for today, guys. We will be back with another set review soon here on Metabros. Later, guys. Later. Later.